Brandon, a video on social media of Kern High School District police officers tackling a student has caused students, parents, and community members to call for an investigation into the district's police department about the use of force against kids in Kern County schools. 23 ABC's Taylor Levesque joins us live from the Kern High School District with more on what led to this incident. Taylor. The mother of the student in the video you're about to see says her son is traumatized. She says regardless of race, no adult should handle a kid like the KHSD officer handled her son. And she said her son actually wanted to be a police officer, but after the incident, he is terrified of them. Video taken by Stockdale High School students on February 15th shows KHSD officers tackling a student. Him and another student got into um like the water fight and the girl kept going after my son and making threats to him and you know swinging her crutches and stuff and my son got triggered by everybody all around and um he like ran like run like he was gonna run up to her but then he stopped and then that's when the police officer came and grabbed him and threw him to the ground. According to Deborah Acosta, the student in the video is her son, 15-year-old Quincy Acosta. He's diagnosed with autism, ADHD, and bipolar, and he has an IEP, so, you know, there's, there's specific things that are put in place when situations arrive because, you know, he has triggers that are caused from his disability. And after this incident was captured on camera, Acosta says her son can be heard screaming in this separate video taken by students. Well, he was taken into the office where the officer, um, I guess, called for more cops. And then they put my son on the ground. 23 ABC reached out to the Kern High School District about the incident and in a statement said, quote, we are aware of the incident that happened on campus at Stockdale High School. The school is reviewing the video and the investigation is ongoing. The appropriate disciplinary actions will be taken. Acosta says since the incident, she has met with school administration and says they told her what happened wasn't her son's fault. Community advocate Nadine Escalante says she's done research on education and policing issues and says there are severe issues within the Kern High School District. There's a lack of training in their department that I have seen over the recent years, how they have taken children down, how children have been broken up by fights by their hair, thrown against the wall, thrown against on the ground. Acosta says her son was injured in the incident and wants to see change as a result of this video. I'm just hoping like something gets done about this because it's not okay. It's happening too often with these kids and you know, it's just, it's not right. So I'm not gonna let, let like give up and I'm gonna keep fighting this because it's wrong. According to the Kern High School District's website, KHSD officers have several years of law enforcement experience and actually undergo many other trainings to work in schools. But Acosta is requesting the district to open an investigation to the force used and to take responsibility for their actions. Now, coming up at 6, we'll hear from another mother with a similar story from a, another district high school and what she's demanding from those school officials. Live in Southwest Bakersfield, Taylor Levesque, 23 ABC, connecting you.